from the New York Times. Uh, there's a story here. Blackberry's partnership with Foxconn signals shifting priorities. Uh, the story starts off, Indonesians have long loved Blackberry devices. When the company introduced a new phone two and a half years ago, a crowd at a shopping mall here became so unruly, in part because of a half-price offer for the first thousand buyers, that riot police were rushed in to stand by. But even in Indonesia, BlackBerry's fortunes have changed. Last week, when the company started selling the Z3, a smartphone it made specifically for the Indonesian market, consumers reacted with a collective shrug. Nevertheless, the arrival of the Z3, a touchscreen device mainly notable for its budget-friendly $190 price, signals a new path for the struggling company. BlackBerry, like most phone makers, has long contracted out the manufacturing of its phones, but the Z3 has been designed and distributed by Foxconn Technology Group, a Taiwanese manufacturer. So the partnership with Foxconn um, comes at a critical time for BlackBerry. Uh, even though sales of phones for a RIM have plummeted globally in recent years, the revenue from the phone business remains vital um, as uh, BlackBerry tries to shift the organization's focus to services and software. So they still need to sell phones, but it's more important that they start selling services and software because that's really, you know, the BlackBerry uh, messaging services, you know, kind of the bread and butter of a BlackBerry phone. And, uh, you know, trying to get that onto other platforms is, I think, really what BlackBerry is trying to do long term. I don't see them succeeding long term. They're kind of going the way of Nokia, uh, where Nokia never really got smartphones and ended up being purchased by Microsoft. Uh, you know, I, I totally see, you know, research in motion kind of either dying off or, or going kind of that same direction. Although the question is, who would buy them at this point? You know, there aren't really many other large technology companies that could make such a purchase. You know, Microsoft basically being taken right out of the market because of their purchase purchase with Nokia. Uh, Apple has their own phone. Um, you know, Samsung has, you know, a whole line of phones. Google isn't going to because they've got Android and, you know, Google doesn't really make their own phones per se. So I'm curious uh, what will happen with that.